Okay, here we are to talk about the receiver. This is an update. And this is special to me because I was able to work things out a little better. Cell buff is pretty much as best as it's going to get now. Um, and what I wanted to say about this for a receiver and cell buffer update is that I was able to, um, I reversed the polarity, whatever it's called, for the subwoofer. But I not only did that, I had to do a lot of other things. You can't just flick a few switches on the back of the subwoofer and uh, flick a switch on the um, receiver. You have to go on the receiver and look at your decibels. Like, I had a lot of stuff on, like the rear channels on full blast. I wanted to listen to the rear channels for a while to see what they sounded like but I guess you know I got used to it so I never turned them off big mistake that was I guess that was interfering okay and I had a lot of other stuff on full power for decibels and stuff like that so what I decided to do is put everything to zero I found this out on a website if you put everything to decibel zero everything's all set um so I did that and then I got the um then I tried to play a movie you know, everything sounded fine. The voices were fine. Because you can... The voices will play and everything on zero. But you just have to turn the volume up a lot more to get something out of it. That's fine. But there was no subwoofer volume. Obviously, because at zero decibels, the subwoofer doesn't react at all. I, I guess some of them do, but not mine. So what I did was is I cranked it up to maximum, which was 10. And I... I get a hell of a, I get a ton of it. Now when I watch TV shows and stuff, it's amazing. I watched FBI. I couldn't believe all the bass I was missing out of TV shows. Just DVDs, never mind. I knew everything with Blu-ray and 4K because I watched it down here. But DVD bass, I, that's just, you know, there's some good, decent tracks on there if you, wa if you watch them um, from a DVD or something. So... I was really impressed with that. Um, I'm just going to say this. They said that you can clip your system. I didn't really look into that. Something if you um, put too many things on maximum with the same or whatever it was. I don't think I'm in any, any danger of that. I mean, I just watched um, four episodes of a TV show and I had my, um, my subwoofer on maximum. So if I do clip the system or break it, I guess it's really not the end of the world. I mean, this is a... Uh, how do I put it? I'm going to look that clip. That's right in my pocket. Um, I paid like 80 bucks. No, about 120 bucks for the whole system, which is dirt cheap. I know it's an older one, but it does the job. Like I said, I don't need an Atmos system for where I am. Okay, I'll give you the official definition. What is clipping a receiver? Okay. Clipping is a form of waveform distortion that occurs when an amplifier is overdriven and attempts to deliver an output drive voltage or current beyond its maximum capability. Um, I don't think I, I, I did anything like that. Driving an amplifier into clipping may cause it to output power in, an ex, in excess of its power rating, which isn't a great thing. I don't think I ever did anything like that. If I did, I probably would have noticed. Um... Let's see. Um, all right. Well, now let's try this. Um, is clipping an amp? Uh, is clipping a receiver dangerous? See, I, I'm not. I'm not very. You know, big. I'm not good with these things, so it's good to look them up. It may cause damage to the amplifiers, power supply, or simply blow a fuse. Um, the additional high frequency energy in the harmonics generated by an amplifier operating clipping can damage the tweeter in a connected loudspeaker via overheating. If all that was going to happen, it probably would have happened by now, I would assume. Because I've been doing all kinds of subwoofer things to it for at least a couple of weeks now. So as long as I leave it the way it is, fine. And I don't turn anything up. It's super high either. So, But you know what? I'm not an expert, like I said. Alright, bye-bye.